Welcome to the Airline Review Show! Last time I did the Premium Economy China Airline Review and you guys really liked it! Yay! So I'm bringing you another one. Today we're going to review the Eva Air Economy food. We're gonna see what kind of stuff we get on this long haul flight. Now, on the way there we're flying economy, but on the way back we're flying premium economy. What I'm doing is actually flying in Taipei, hang out with family a little bit, and then we're flying to Seoul, Korea! So we're gonna have a bunch of Korea videos. I'm super excited! Yes, yes, Korean food. Uh, where's my Korean drama lover? Opa! It's not here. I just finished packing about 10 minutes ago. I'm a super last minute packer. Uh, I'm gonna grab a jacket, make sure I have my passport, and then let's head out. It's about 10 p.m. right now. When we get to the airport, our flight leaves at 1 a.m., which is very typical, which is, I think, basically all the flights out to Taipei from New York leave around 1 a.m. We're gonna arrive in Asia at 5 a.m. Woohoo, yeah. Oh, and before we leave, I just wanna say that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the only one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Stay until the end to find out more. And also, I have a perfect surprise for you guys then. Ooh, are you curious? Ooh. Okay, we're gonna go meow. Let's go! I made friends on the plane. Hi. Hi. I'm Haley. Hey. Friends. This is... Hi, I'm Jamie. My fiance. They just got our, married. Our husband. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, your husband. <laughs> Where are you guys going? We're going to Bali. Bye. Layover in Taipei. Hopefully we get the Hello Kitty flight. I know, that sounds so cool. <laughs> All right, yeah, you guys. Cool 16 hours, patient. not so bad. No. Not so not. bad. <laughs> Alright, about an hour and a half into the flight, it is time for our first meal. Ta-da! Dinner time! I'm super excited because I was actually starving. There's something about opening foil that is so satisfying. Oh, I just like that sound. Yes, reveal. So I got the seafood rice. Da -da -da. And you can see that there are pretty big shrimp pieces, scallops, some veggies, and fluffy, fluffy rice. I also really love their utensils. I don't know, I just think it's so cute. <laughs> a close-up of the sauce. The sauce is actually a sweet chili sauce. Um, they got these tiny salad pieces in there, which I love, they're very chewy. And looking at the veggies, I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look bad. And of course, the rice is always pretty good. Now we're going to take a bite and sample it. First impression, I thought it was meh, eh. I wrote in my notes that it was actually not that good, unfortunately. And I got it to, oh. Digging into the veggies, there's some bok choy, cabbage, and carrot. I wrote in my notes that the veggie didn't taste very good at all. It actually, they were very soggy and had a weird plastic taste to it. I think it was just the ginger uh, slices in there. And on this side, you get potato salad and smoked salmon. I don't know why, but smoked salmon on the plane always tastes so good. I think it's just, Feels like a very luxurious um, like food to have on the plane. Um, I wrote in my notes that this little side dish was actually the best part. So the salmon and the potato salad, that was a hit, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm, thumbs up for that little side dish. And also the fruit was super fresh as well. Um, this meal came with a dessert. It's like a vanilla cake with peach slices on top. And this is an overview of the entire meal. Yes, get that angle. 
They actually gave quite a lot of seafood and a lot of sauce that mixed in well with the rice. It balances out because usually they just give you a ton of rice. Um, the rice was really fluffy and the sauce was actually very spicy. Yeah, which is shocking for airplane food. I ended up finishing it even though it was just okay. I was starving and digging into the dessert. The dessert basically just tasted like, you know, any other um, supermarket grocery store cake that you get in a plastic container. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad. I didn't end up finishing all of that actually, but it was just okay. And in the utensil pack, they also gave you floss, which is a little nice touch, you know. Okay, now that I'm done with dinner, it's time to watch Captain Marvel. By the way, if you're wondering, they do give you water. Okay, because this was so late in the night, I literally knocked out. Like, I just blacked out. I was so tired. <laughs> By the time I woke up, about four hours into the flight, and I thought this would be a perfect time to give you a bathroom tour. <laughs> well, the reason I wanted to give you guys a bathroom tour is because this bathroom, for some reason, was so big. Bigger than other bathrooms I've been in. And sorry for being so extra. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Okay, I want to show you that there's amenities, anemones. I can never say that word. They have hand wash for you, face mist, um, hand lotion, and they gave out toothbrush. You never really see them giving out toothbrush, like sleeping mask and earplugs on long haul flights. So especially for economy class. So this was very nice. Um, I'm going to freshen up a bit and then I'll see you guys later for breakfast. Time for breakfast! So you get two choices. You can get the Asian breakfast, which is kanji, or the Western breakfast, which had eggs and bacon. This is what the kanji looked like. I always love kanji on Asian flights. I don't know, it's just, it's such an awesome breakfast food. Um, this one came with fish floss. Fish floss is, it's basically like pork floss. Uh, it adds a savory flavor to your meal. Uh, I just, I love it. So I'm just sprinkling all that in. Yes, I sprinkle that fish floss bay. So digging in my kanji, you can see that it came with a lot of veggies. There's corn, there's carrot, I think there was peas in there as well. Um, and there's chicken pieces in there. Uh, so yeah, I'm just mixing that up to take a delicious bite. Are you guys ready? Because I am. Ah, nom, 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 And the verdict is meh. Unfortunately, I wrote this in my notes. It's not savory at all. Like it basically had no taste, was very bland, and the meal didn't come with salt and pepper. Uh, so I poured the entire fish floss package in there. It came with some peppers on the side. I added that into my meal. It just gave it a little crunch, but not really any more flavor. Usually with kanji, they give you pickled radish on the side or some type of like fermented um, pickly stuff, but they didn't hear. But it's okay. Uh, regardless, I finished it and I left two carrots. I don't know why I keep leaving carrots. Um, they also came with fruit, by the way. About time to land soon, so I'm just finishing up my coffee. Okay, and it was time to land. And you guys, I love the moment when, you know, we've like landed and, it, and then we're just waiting for that seatbelt sign to go off and you see like who gets up first. Like cause some people get up so fast. Okay, ready? Ready, 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 ready. He, he, heavy breathing, heavy breathing. Ooh, that guy went up so fast. Where was he going? And we made it 16 hours later, we made it. Hi guys, so currently at Taoyang Airport, we arrived an hour and a half early. So we're supposed to land at 5.15, but we landed at three, I think it was like 3.50. I've never had, ah. Sorry, right, right right, I had to go pick up food. Uh, as I was saying, we got here early. Um, I've been sitting here for a while. We still have a bit of a trek before I get home home because I live in the south. But I wanted to show you guys the food court here at this airport because it's amazing. You can get so many yummy Asian food. I think it's one of the best airport food court, in my opinion. It, I'm so biased, but I love this place. All of this for 155 MT. If you guys have layovers here at this airport, be sure to come down to this food court and grab a bunch of food. I'm gonna eat this up and then we're off to the second trek of our journey. Of course, this tastes so much better than the airplane food. Hello everybody! I freshen up a little bit. That was a really long 
uh, travel day. So I'm back at my parents' place here in Pingdong, Taiwan. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I want to introduce you guys to my mom's five cats. <laughs> she has so many cats just running around. Before I do that, overall, the Eva Air flight economy, um, I tell you what, the food, not so good, but the seat was great. It was really comfy um, for, it was like pretty roomy compared to other economy seats I've been in. Uh, but most of all, I have really great neighbors. Like my girl was going on her honeymoon and then the neighbor next to me was just so sweet and so nice. So I think that's important if you get a middle seat in a long haul flight. Overall, I'm gonna have to rate this flight uh, a seven out of 10. Yes, but I still think the China airline economy flight is better, uh, but I have, haven't, but I need to like document that for you guys next time because you can really, see, you'll see the difference. But for sure this was great. And honestly for the price, unbeatable, you know? So there you guys go. That was an Eva Air economy review. So if you guys are from an Asian household, you'll be very familiar with these calendars. Um, it's just like extra AF. But surprisingly, it's 2019, so it's updated. Usually, it's like two to three years back. <laughs> okay, so it's time for me to introduce you to all the cats. Ready? So here's one. Hi, baby. Honestly, I don't know the kitten's name. Hello, but this one is like maybe six, how many months? Six months old? Six months old? No, no, more than that, eight months old. Hi, say hi, everyone. Like and subscribe. So that's cat number one. My parents hoard stuff, okay? And if you guys live in an Asian household, you understand. But look, there's cat number two, it's a twin. They got the grumpy face look. It's right there, hi, duh. Say hi to everyone. That one's really friendly. He'll usually come up and say hi. The other two are super, super shy. Um, they, all the three like golden ones are really, really hyper and they're, they're like super excited to see people. They're very cuddly, but the other two, they're extremely shy. So I probably won't be able to catch them on camera right now. Hold on, before we go, this is the perfect time to present to you a message from our sponsor. Want to start a travel blog or a place to document your food adventures? Well, it doesn't have to be difficult because there's Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build yourself a beautiful website. They got all the modern templates you need to make your website look amazing, both on desktop and on mobile. Set up a mailing list to keep all your loved ones updated on your travels. With their easy image editor, your travel selfies will always look great. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash cup of TJ to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Build your perfect online presence now. Thank you guys so much for watching this airline review. Let me know in the comments below if there are other airlines you want me to review in the future. Remember to stick around because on the way back, we're flying premium economy. So we're gonna see if there's anything different. I'm really hoping, really hoping there is. Also stick around because the next few videos after this will be Taiwan videos. And then we're gonna go into Korea videos. A lot of content, a lot of crazy, crazy filming, but it's gonna be good. I'm excited. And I'm also tired. I need to go take a nap or something. I had to like slightly freshen up to look kind of nice for this <laughs> outro. Okay, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Yes? Okay, bye-bye.